Hello, my name is Salazander, and this is my new project, The Tank Bank. Found on this channel will be videos detailing information and strategies on how to maximize both your mitigation and DPS capabilities in order to help make you a better tank. As someone who placed in the top 5% for tank damage on 4 different classes in the last half of BFA, I was choked with to create this channel. As time ticked on by, the idea stuck with me until finally I decided to give it a try. Many people have different philosophies with tanking, and none of them are particularly wrong. Regardless of what your mindset with tanking is, one of the key parts of tanking is knowing the boss mechanics. Khadgar's famous comment, knowledge is power, is entirely accurate. Bosses become easier when you know everything there is to know about their encounter. After all, you cannot learn to maximize your DPS cooldowns as a tank if you do not learn when you should use them. It is my goal with this project to help you become as good as a tank as you are willing to be. If only one of my videos helps your raid team take on and successfully kill just one boss encounter in Castle Nathria or beyond, I will be ecstatic. While my videos will primarily focus on tank damage and viewpoint, the information I hope to provide will be beneficial for all classes and roles who wish for a more analytical look at the boss encounters. As a quick example of the general structure of how I plan my boss encounter videos to be, let us have a look at an encounter I am sure nearly every player has at least seen. Rathion, the Black Emperor, aka Dratty. Because come on, even I can see how real his glow up was. Duly noted is that my time used is in reference to when you start the encounter not from his last cast. When you start the encounter with Heroic Rathion or Dratty, the timer starts for his combos of Incinerates and Searing Breaths. Around 8 seconds into the encounter, Rathion starts the cast of Incinerate. At roughly 14 seconds into it, he'll start his first Searing Breath combo. 19 or 20 seconds in, his second Searing Breath will come out, and at just around 28 seconds, his second incinerate will find its way to your raiders. At about 31 second mark, he'll start his second combo of Searing Breaths. And 39 seconds in is when he'll do his fourth Searing Breath. Lastly, at 45 seconds, he will start Gale Blast. Occasionally, he might do one more Searing Breath a couple of seconds before flying off to do his Cataclysm. You have until about the 1 minute 8 second mark to get to the safe zone for Cataclysm before they start exploding outward from Rathion. At about the 1 minute 17 second mark, Cataclysm ends and second phase starts all over again. At 1 minute 25, his first incinerate comes out. 1.30, his first breath combo starts. 1.36, the first breath combo finishes. With 1 minute 43, the second incinerate cast starting. 1 minute 48, the second breath combo starts. With the second breath finishing at 1 minute 54. At the 2 minute mark, the second Gale Blast starts, and as soon as he finishes that at 2 minutes 5, the third Incinerate goes out, and he starts to go off for his last Cataclysm before going to Smoke and Mirrors. This timeline means that before the first Cataclysm, you have had enough time to effectively cast two 30 second cooldowns, one 45 second cooldown, one one minute cooldown, one two minute cooldown, and one three minute cooldown. By the end of the second Gale Blast's cast, you should have had enough time to effectively cast since the pull, four 30 second cooldowns, two 45 second cooldowns, 
two one minute cooldowns, one two minute cooldown, and one three minute cooldown. By the start of the second cataclysm, it's very possible to kill him before smoke and mirrors. This means if your raid lead calls it, pop any CD available at that time, which with this encounter timeline should add at least one more cast of a 45 and 2 minute cooldown. As for Searing Breath as a tank, you should be able to easily eat the first Searing Breath without a defensive. For the second one, use the cooldown you feel will help most of all. If you are solo tanking, be sure to use your defensive CDs in an order of weakest to strongest. This will help maximize the mitigation value of them. The timing of the encounter negates a second 45 second cooldown in the first phase, as you only get a couple of seconds to smack him around before he does Cataclysm. With the slightly longer time Rathion stays down, before the second cataclysm, saving the second 45 second cooldown for the start of the second phase 1 allows you to use it for an added bit of burst DPS if your raid lead wants to push for the kill before smoke and mirrors. Otherwise, it leaves the 45 second cooldown up for smoke and mirrors to burst down the shards. As previously stated, this will be a general idea on how you effectively use your CDs depending on the encounter. These videos will be in no way intended as a do exactly as I dictate to maximize your damage, as many variables can come into play with any raid encounter. My goal is to provide you guys with as much information as I can in order to assist you with maximizing your damage. On the other side of things, the new Mythic Plus affixes also look interesting. The seasonal, Prideful, being the first real positive affix is the most interesting of all. It is going to be fascinating to see how using the buff will change strats and routes going week to week. It is my hope that I can create videos detailing these to assist tanks with going in with more confidence in the routes. But as things stand, we'll have to see. I look forward to creating these guides and helping everyone I can with them. Shadowlands and Castle Nathria cannot come soon enough as we say goodbye to the Azerite grind and Nihilotha. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see more of you in Shadowlands and may the tank bank help you spank those bosses.